Midjourney has a new upscaler. It allows you to 4x your images right within Discord. But is it actually any good? How does it hold up to other upscalers on the market? So today we're going to find that out. We're going to compare the Midjourney upscaler to Upscale, which is probably the best free upscaler out there, and Topaz Gigapixel, top of the line premium upscaler out there, which I think is the best one on the market today. So let's get into it. Now this is our first image. It's a sort of a woman's face I generated in mid journey and the resolution is 1456 by 816. And all of the images have been generated at this resolution and then 4X'd. So 4X with mid journey, 4X'd with upscale and 4X'd with Topaz Gigapixel. And that brings the resolution up to 5824 by 3264. So how does this compare? Well, here we have the original image. If I zoom in, I've enlarged it and sort of place it over the upscaled layers. You can see the pixelation. We're gonna look at the eyes first because faces are generally sort of the thing that we can pick apart the easiest. So when I switch from the original to the 4X mid journey upscale, it looks not too bad. But my first no uh, thought about this was it's actually a little bit blurry. And if I go to upscale, which is the free version, it's sharper, but it's a little bit noisy. It sort of has this weird way of generating noise in areas that doesn't need to be there. And I think it's a little bit of a messier upscale. Topaz Gigapixel, it has sharpness where it needs to be and sort of softness where it needs to be also. Now, I'm not just trying to go on about how good Topaz Gigapixel is, but I mean, it is a dedicated upscale. So in most instances, it's probably going to do better, but not every instance. So now if I go back to our original and we zoom out a little bit, let's look at the lips. You can see what the texture on the lips and the nose is like. So again, we go to mid journey and it actually lo looks pretty good. looks pretty solid. The lips, the texture and everything looks great. It looks like it's slightly out of focus, but it looks like it's a, a pretty solid image. Upscale, it's again, a little bit messy. I have heard a lot of good things about upscale and I could probably get better results by playing with the settings a bit further, but I just haven't been impressed uh, with it so far. Let's uh, go to Topaz and again, we've got skin texture, little pores on the skin. The, everything is really nice and sharp and it's without a doubt probably the best result. One thing I have noticed in some images and I'll just check with this one quickly is if I zoom out a bit, we have our original, we have mid journey, upscale and Topaz is that if you go between these two, upscale and Topaz gigapixel, the color is much the same. But if you switch to mid journey, it actually kind of softens and brightens that color a little bit also. So mid journey actually adjusts the colors slightly as it upscales. Um, you can see how the blue's a little bit deeper over here and it softens up a bit, especially off to the edge. So the mid journey upscaler does sort of correct a few color issues as well. But overall, especially when you look at things like freckles, we can have a look, we got mid journey, the freckles are there, bit soft. Uh, upscale, it's a little bit messy and Topaz Gigapixel, the, I think it's just a bit better overall. Our next image is I wanted to basically get some kind, something a little bit different. And so I just put together a street filled with incredible hulks. And there's a few things here to pick apart because this is more of an art style than a photo. If I zoom in on the Hulk's face, because the Hulk's face is smaller, it has less detail to work with. So this will be a nice test of what it does. Now, really interesting. I turn off the original and go to mid journey and that's the way it looks, which isn't too bad. But let's zoom in for a little bit and go between them. On the mid journey upscaler, the teeth, they don't look great, but they're actually better than what we get with the other two upscalers. So if I click over to upscale, the teeth kind of look like these weird sort of metallic things. And Topaz kind of looks like a really weird type of grill. And I don't really know why that is, something to do with the way it works. However, that's just the teeth. When you go to the rest of the face, see how the skin here, it looks pretty decent. It looks like the image should look, the skin and the facial structure. Upscale, it's a little bit harsh and a bit crazy. And mid journey, it looks, again, a bit rough and paint strokey. It doesn't really have that nice smoothness to it that if I go straight to Topaz, it has a like a more smoother look to it. And even in the bits and pieces of the background here, you can notice a big difference with these sort of more arbitrary areas. If I go to upscale, it's a little bit sort of just harsh and messy. And if I go to mid journey, it really loses a lot of detail. So Topaz tends to add a lot more detail than the others, but it, they, it tends to make a mess of the teeth. So you do get some funny results there. 
This face over here, another good example. This is the Topaz Gigapixel. Again, this is upscale, looks a bit harsh, mid-journey. It softens it up, but because it's softer, it kind of helps remove some of those errors, so I'm not sure. <laughs> it doesn't do as good a job upscaling and adding detail, but at least it can hide some of the errors by not being as sharp. So it really depends. Sharpness isn't always better, but I do think in this case, it's a mixed bag. I would say you're better off having a few different ones or even using something like Photoshop's generative fill to regenerate the teeth or get a result that way. Now, something to consider here, guys. Every time I create an image, it uses up GPU time. Every time I upscale, it uses GPU time. At the moment, I have 13.91 hours left of my plan. I generate a grid of images like these ones here. I go back into my info and I've used 0.01 of my hours to generate that image. So hypothetically, if I'm getting 15 hours a month, I should be getting probably around 1500 images a month generated. I would say if you want to be conservative, 1000 to 1500 images a month on that plan. So what happens when I take one of these images, I upscale by four, we get our image and I've used up 0 0.06 hours. Now this doesn't seem like much, but if you generate a ton of images and you want to save on GPU time, having an external scale upscale is going to save you that as well. Because that takes your images down from say 1500, let's say it's 1500, then you're going to be using seven points per image. So that means instead of 1500, you're getting more like 200 if you're upscaling every single image. Uh, now that's a bit of a range. So 200 to 1500 is about what you can expect if you're upscaling as well. So that's just, uh, just a thought to actually keep in mind as well. But anyway, back to the comparisons. This is an image of the Terminator and I wanted a really cartoony looking image to look at as well. So I tried to make this one almost like a vector, but not quite, but it has nice sharp edges and lines. And this is the original. If I zoom in on the face, we see the cheekbones, a little bit too far. Cheekbones, we see all the pixels here. I turn off the original and the mid journey upscale has actually messed things up a bit. If you have a look closely, you see it's added all these bits and pieces in there. It's still a great upscale considering. I mean, it's, it's better than not having the upscale, but let's see what upscale has done. A little bit neater, a little bit more of a glow in some areas. And overall, I think a better, cleaner image. It hasn't really introduced that noise like in some of the other examples. Now let's switch to Topaz Gigapixel. And again, a sharper, better result. Hasn't added as much in there, but there's a little bit. Overall, again, Topaz has just made this a cleaner image. And let's move down around to some of the more arbitrary areas. So some of these areas here, this is still Topaz Gigapixel, nice and sharp. Upscale, a little bit fuzzy around the edges. Mid Journey, again, a bit fuzzy, but it's a bit hard. I would say Mid Journey has done better down here, worse on the face, but Topaz Gigapixel has probably done the best job overall for this particular image. So again, if you're looking to get the best upscale, I think Topaz is gonna do it, but combining these two together is gonna be what really works. And you can always take it into something like Photoshop, overlay the two layers and edit out the parts you like or don't like of one upscale or another. So let's keep going. Now this is kind of like a Niji mode type style, like Samurai uh, Rabbit, <laughs> like something a little bit uh, cyberpunk, something a little bit anime, but uh, overall, something that's a bit of a different look overall than just a plain cartoon. So I've got the original here and I'm going to zoom in on a few areas. We've got the stitching on the sword. We've got a little bit of the face. And again, these are very flat colors compared to something like a photo or a 3D render. So let's go to the mid journey upscale and it's solid. It's great. It's sharp. Everything looks exactly as you need it to be. The little glows are still in there. It still has a little bit of an art arty sort of like stroke look here, but overall, Mid Journey did, has done a really fantastic job with this one, and I don't think you'd really need to add more, but let's compare it still. We'll go to upscale, and it's sort of added some noise in there, um, which can be a desirable result. Sometimes you want that grainy look added to stuff, because sometimes you want things to look a little bit like they've been filmed, and they're not digital. But uh, considering what this type of image this is, I kind of prefer not to have the grain, but I switched to Topaz Gigapixel, and again, nice and sharp and neat, but I'm actually not sure which is better, that or Mid Journey. So I'll go here, go to Mid Journey, and it is a bit softer. Topaz has added a little bit more detail to the eye. It's made it a little bit more dynamic. This is Mid Journey, Topaz Gigapixel, Mid Journey, Topaz Gigapixel. So again, I think Topaz is better, but not really worth mentioning. 
if that makes sense. It's not really something I would be concerned about because it's not good enough of a big enough of a difference to really make it a game changer. Something a little bit different, this flower here, we're gonna zoom in. Now there's not a lot because it's a bit repetitious, but we'll go just here and go to the mid journey upscale. Now here's the thing, let's just zoom out for a sec. That looks more like a 3D render when viewed from afar. I zoom in and switch to mid journey and now it looks more like a painting. Depending on what you're actually trying to achieve, that may or may not be a good thing, but let's see what the other two do. So upscale, much messier. Uh, I would probably not use that. Topaz Gigapixel, cleaner, not perfect. Bit closer to the 3D render look, but here's the thing. It looks better if that's the look you're going for, whereas Mid Journey's sort of painted look, I think looks like, it looks a little more natural, like there's less errors to it. But it really depends on the style you're going for. If you have a look around some of these edges here and these edges here, switching to Topaz Gigapixel, they are cleaner, but just look a little less natural in the way they interact with the objects around them. Again, depends on what you're looking for, what kind of look you, you're actually trying to achieve with your image. This pyramid image is something I want to play with as well. This is, again, more of an artistic look, but if we zoom in, there's a few areas here with trees. And if I go to the mid-journey upscale, it looks not too bad. It looks like a painting, bits of trees, a little bit fuzzy, like it's still it's trying to disguise some of the issues especially when we look at some of the trees and that down here. I go to upscale and again, a bit harsh. Like if, you just look, if you're looking up close, you're not really getting good results with upscale, even though it's still one of the best, it's pretty much the best free one out there as far as I can tell. Topaz Gigapixel, sharper, still has a few issues, but if you're looking for sharpness and texture, it's done the best job I think there, but mid journey softness kind of protects the image a little bit as well so again somewhere between the two like if you were to take this down to 50 percent you probably find you get a nice effect that way so again combining these two is another really great idea when upscaling this 3d render of batman now i noticed a lot of differences in this one when i first had a look at it especially on the texture of the helmet so i'll start there i'll zoom in we've got the face and the helmet and we turn on to the mid, mid journey upscaler and his eyes are kind of, it doesn't really matter because you can't see it, you can kind of make it out there, but it looks like it's just a bit of stuff <laughs> in there. But it's like the skin has a nice 3D, 3D neat texture to it. So does the side of the helmet there. I go to upscale and it's just not that impressive. So mid journey, I think does have a better result than using upscale. But Topaz, it's, uh, it's got a sharper edging to it and it has hot, better highlights. Now, the texture here depends on your personal preference. I find the skin compared to Mid Journey looks a lot better. It has a lot more personality and skin sort of pores to it. This is Mid Journey. This is Topaz Gigapixel. But the helmet, this is Topaz Gigapixel. This is Mid Journey. The texture on the Mid Journey helmet is actually a lot better. So I'll move down to the Batman symbol. Again, this is Mid Journey, upscale. Not too bad there, actually. Topaz Gigapixel. I still think Topaz is I think second best in this one because the mid journey upscale it just has a better texture. But again, if I take this section of the mask right here, and if I just cut that out, you can combine the two and get the best of both worlds if you're using Photoshop. So that's not a bad way to go either. So overall, that is the comparison and at the end of the day like i said i believe the best results are going to be by combining the two things my preferred program stack when it comes to using ai for upscaling is i like using mid journey the mid journey upscaler is pretty powerful however i like having topaz there to get a better result in a lot of different areas but then i like having photoshop there so i can combine and switch out various parts if i really want to get the best results and then on top of that you can use generative fill to fix a lot of issues. But overall, I recommend if you're serious about using AI and AI workflow to create high quality images, then Mid Journey, get Mid Journey, get Topaz Gigapixel or Topaz Photo AI, Photoshop, put those together and use it that way. And save on your GPU time because Mid Journey's upscaler does use a lot of GPU power. Whereas if you have Topaz Gigapixel or Topaz Photo AI on your computer, you're using your own computer's processor power. You don't have to pay for that. <laughs> so if you're generating a lot of images, I still recommend getting an external upscaler. You can check out the links in the description for the ones I've showcased here. 
and um, see what you think from there. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you again soon.